ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਹਿਲ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਮੰਤਰੀਆਂ ਮਾਰਕੋ ਮੈਡਿਸਿਨੋ ਅਤੇ ਫ੍ਰੈਂਕਵਿਸ ਫਿਲਿਪ ਸ਼ੈਂਪੇਨ ਨੇ ਸੰਗੀ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਨਿਯੰਤਰਿਤ ਵਿਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਈਬਰ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਨੂੰ ਮਜ਼ਬੂਤ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਉਦੇਸ਼ ਨਾਲ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਨਵੇਂ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤੇ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਉਪਾਵਾਂ ਦੀ ਰੂਪਰੇਖਾ ਦੱਸੀ ਹੈ ਬਿੱਲ ਸੀ 26 ਦੇ ਤਹਿਤ ਕੰਪਨੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਈਬਰ ਹਮਲਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਨੀ ਪਵੇਗੀ ਜਾਂ ਸੰਭਾਵਿਤ ਜੁਰਮਾਨੇ ਦਾ ਸਾਹਮਣਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਪਵੇਗਾ ਇਨ ਦੀ 21st ਸੈਂਚਰੀ ਸਾਈਬਰ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ It was in this frame that a few weeks ago we made a major announcement about the future of Canada's telecommunications system. Given the significant and unacceptable risks that they pose to our national security, we stated our intention to prohibit Huawei and ZTE from Canadian telecommunications networks. Today we are here to expand beyond the steps of excluding certain actors who pose a significant threat to our telecommunications network. Today we're here to talk about the future of Canada's cybersecurity. The legislation which I tabled in the house earlier this morning presents us with an opportunity to reconsider what cybersecurity looks like and to redouble our efforts at creating the defenses that are necessary. The world is changing rapidly. New technologies in cyber are emerging. presenting Canadians with unique opportunities in the way we do business and go about our daily lives. At the same time, we also have to be eyes wide open about possible threats to our critical cyber infrastructure. Ransomware attacks, espionage, cyber attacks, foreign interference, the conduct of hostile state actors and their proxies are all part of the national security landscape. Seizing the economic opportunities while at the same time acknowledging the threats that exist is precisely why we are here today and today we are acting this morning i introduced bill c26 this legislation will protect canadian cybersecurity by strengthening the partnerships between the government and the telecommunications sector federal regulators enhanced supports for sectors of the economy that are vital to national security and public safety and offer new tools to protect canadians in cybersecurity the act will do two things First, it will amend the Telecommunications Act to add security as a fundamental policy objective. This will give our government the legal authority to compel any action necessary to secure our telecommunications system. Most significantly, this includes prohibiting Canadian companies from using products, equipment and services from high-risk suppliers like the ones I referred to at the outset of my remarks. Second, the act introduces the Critical Cyber Systems Protection Act with a view to securing Canada's critical cyber infrastructure long into the future. This new act will help organizations better prepare, prevent, and respond to cyber incidents across four federally regulated sectors: finance, telecommunications, energy, and transport. It will require the operators of the systems to bolster their protections against a wide array of incidents including cyber attacks, electronic espionage and ransomware. Cyber incidents above a certain threshold will be required to be reported and the government will be able to compel companies to respond to cyber threats to protect their customers and employees.